Hi, this is Christina from OfficeToDo.com. In this lesson, we are going to talk about modifying text in Office Word. We have prepared some text for this lesson, so it would be easier to follow. This is the text we started in our previous lesson about entering text into Word. So, you have entered the content and now it's time to make it look better. You want to make it easier to read and understand by others, and of course by you, if you happen to open the document again in future. First, I'm going to talk about the fonts. By going to the font selection, you get a long list of available fonts. Here. These are standard fonts, but you may purchase more if needed. Now, we are going to change the font of our text. First, we are going to select all the text. You can do this by going to the ribbon and on the home page, in the editing section, there is select. Click select and select all. Or you can choose on your keyboard also control press CTRL and A. So now if you take a look at the font selection then you will get an instant preview. Move your mouse on your preferred font and see if it will fit your needs. If you are satisfied then click on the font to apply it. Next to the font selection there is a size selection. Usually it's wise to use 11, 10, 10, 11 or 12. But some essays might have a special regulation what font and size of it should be used. To change it, just select the text and change the size by clicking the number. You may have to need to bold some parts of your text to show its importance. You can do this by selecting part of the text with your mouse and pressing B in the home view. Select your text. We have home, font and B. Widely used are also italic and underline. Let's use italic which is right next to B and underline is here. You may also want to change a part of the text, for example make it red. You can do this by selecting the part of the text and choosing font color in the same home view. Now. I'll choose the word and in home view in, in font section I have font color. You click here and you get a great selection of uh, standard colors and theme colors. Uh, I should warn you however that in case you are creating documents for 97-2003 these theme colors might not be available for, for these older versions and they might look bad. For this reason it's better to use standard colors in case you are sharing your document. If you are not satisfied with these colors you can click more colors to find the exact match. Here you have standard colors and custom colors. Standard these folder versions, as I said before, and custom, well, it's it has a wide selection of colors. But I'm gonna choose a theme color here. If you want to change one word, then you don't have to select it, just put text cursor on it and change it, like this cursor is in it and I'll use 
a different color here and I'll make it even look bold. Mm. One last note as well. The same font options that you see on the ribbon also come available when you select a text or press right mouse button on your text. It's more effective to use these menus as it will save you time. You do this by selecting your text and you have here the options. Or you click your right mouse button and you have the options again. These are basic font tools, but I will show you other font tools in our future lessons. Thank you for watching and see you in our next lesson at obviestudio.com. Bye!